This lesson is to cover traditional grip, nuances, subtleties, and issues, single strokes, two different heights. So you should have watched the other videos on this web page to get all the details and nitty gritty about how to play tap strokes, how to play accent strokes, float strokes, put it all together and build single strokes one height, or excuse me, single strokes two different heights to play taps and accents. Now, there are some very important things to talk about with left hand, with your left hand traditional grip to help you do this well. So let's talk about the tap stroke quickly. I'm not gonna cover all the details of tap stroke again. You should have watched the other videos, but there are some things about left hand that are important to address. First of all, if you hold your left hand in rest position, make sure you've got good angle here, everything in place. When you play the tap stroke, this down up motion, you wanna make sure that you're actually using the proper wrist rotation. One common mistake is to bend your wrist like this instead of rotating your wrist to play the tap stroke. That's one common mistake I see. So make sure that you start here, you rotate your wrist to play the stroke and come back up. Let's just do a few of those. You can watch my hand move and check yourself, make sure you're doing it right. Let's go down up every four counts. Ready? And down up. Two, three, four. Down up. Two, three, four. Down up. Nice relaxed motion. Same principles apply as match grip. You just got to get a nice wrist rotation. Okay? So, check on that. Make sure you're doing that correctly, traditional grip. Now, with regards to float stroke, we've talked about float stroke in the stroke development videos with traditional grip. And this lifting upward, very important, make sure you do that. Holding onto the stick so you can stop it in rest position, probably the, the next most important thing to really think about. So make sure you keep all the skin on the stick. Don't let your left hand get sloppy and loose, no flipping. We say don't do this on the right hand. Well, the equivalent of that on the left hand is sometimes people will let the stick come out of their hand like that. Hold onto the stick, keep those fingers on top of the stick, lift the stick up, have a hold of it, bring it down, Play the accent, stop and rest position. Now, with that float stroke, once you stop the stick, then you're just gonna drop the taps in. So I go through a very detailed process of playing down up, building the taps and accents, review all of that plain traditional grip, and just keep your hand in position. Let's jump ahead and play single hand tap accent patterns. The next exercise, I put this up on the screen here, this eight, four, three, and two pattern. And you can just see the flow of my hands, play this along with me, and make sure your left hand's doing all the right stuff. Okay, let's go about one and two. Let's keep it kind of slow. One and two, and ready, go. Smooth float stroke. So stopping that stick at the end of the accent, the way you play that float stroke, accelerate into the head, stop it, so then you can drop your taps. That is so important. This is one of the most important moments in drumming technique development. You've got to do this right. So keep working on that. Let's do that same exercise a little bit faster. About one and two and ready, go. There you go. So work that exercise, get that left hand strong, keep that motion going, get that rotation upward, feel this, everything moving upwards as you lift for the accent. Now, the next step is to put the hands together and play accent patterns that involve both hands. So let's take the next exercise on the, string, on the screen, just a simple 16th note accent pattern. And Again, we've got to concentrate on matching your left hand accent to the right hand accent and just keep the left hand moving properly. That's really all there is to it. Let's try about one E and a two E and a one, two, three, and four. In my opinion, this is when playing traditional grip really starts to get fun because 
there's just a style that you can get it out of that left hand accent as the accents flow through the left hand traditional grip that's a lot of fun. I really enjoy playing traditional grip. And you gotta be strong with your left. One common mistake is to do things like this. You know, it's just kind of this wimpy motion. It's that float stroke. Accelerate down. Play that accent like you mean it. Let's try the exercise again. One, two, three, and four. See what that looks like? Do that. Next exercise, same concept, triplets. Triple it, triple it. One, two, ready, and. Okay, so get those taps smooth. I mentioned earlier that the way you rotate your wrist to play those taps, when you do consecutive, consecutive taps, you still have to do that. Just playing taps is good practice. Play those accents with strength. Now again, as I mentioned, uh, make sure you've gone through all the videos on this site, the ones that I do matched grip, because I talk about all the specifics of the exercises that apply to everything. This is just a good opportunity to demonstrate traditional grip to you. Have you, have you seen me play the exercises traditional grip so you can model your hand after that. So good luck, keep practicing.